Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am preparing some samples for my Valentine's Day launch. Today is New Year's Eve and I took most of the today off and yesterday off from Etsy. So I need to catch up because I haven't really done much for my Valentine's Day launch and that's tomorrow or actually in a few hours. So I have a bunch of embroidery designs I have to stitch out today. Um, I have a few scrunchies that I have to sew. And then I also have three pairs of bell bottoms that I need to sew as well. So I have a long night ahead of me, but it's New Year's Eve and I don't have anything else planned besides crafting. So that's how I'm gonna spend my night is this crafting. So I'm gonna be running two of my embroidery machines. I'm gonna run my buy and my baby lock floors too. Then I'm gonna be using my sewing machine and my serger. So I'm gonna be busy tonight, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started on showing you all the fabrics that I'm gonna be using for today's project. I won't show you the designs until at once we're all done because I have so many designs that I have to make tonight. I just wanna hurry up and get started. So I'm gonna show you the fabrics we'll be using and then we'll just jump right in. I have some fabric cut up for some scrunchies. So I have this, this print for a chunky and a regular. I might use this for an applique too. I'm not sure. I have this one. I have that one. And then I'm going to be doing um, some bell bottoms. So I'm going to be doing a love bug design. So I have this ladybug fabric. Um, I want to do just like a basic animal print one. So I have like this gold, I have this heart that I'm going to use glitter vinyl and then I'm also going to use part of this fabric too for the applique. So I'm going to be making a full outfit for that, a love bug outfit, and then also an outfit for this. So those are going to be my three bell bottoms. I have these two fabrics that I'm going to be using for appliques. I kind of want to do a scrunchie out of this red polka dot one. So I won't do that tonight, but I plan on adding it to my collection. And then I went to Joann's today to pick up some of these fabrics and, and one of my sons picked out this sunflower fabric. So I'm gonna be making scrunchies out of this one. Not tonight though, but just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I have all my sample fabrics all cut up. So I'm gonna be offering some white shirts and some black shirts as well. But that's all the fabric that I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to go ahead now and just get the machines loaded with the designs. Um, I'm going to spray some temporary adhesive onto some cutaway stabilizer and I'm going to be floating the fabric on the hoops, um, at least for the baby lock. And then for the buy embroidery machine, I'll be using my Mighty Hoops to do the samples. Um, and then this is going to be the glitter vinyl that I used for the heart. Um, I think that'll look really cute with this print. Now I want to make some other t-shirt designs that will go with this um, print that won't be Valentine's Day related, but I just I won't have time to do that tonight. But I definitely want to do a um, mommy and me matching bell bottom set, but they didn't have enough Joann. They didn't have enough of the fabric at Joann's. They only had like a yard and three quarters. So I won't have enough to do an adult size pair, but I do plan on doing a video um, on how to make adult bell bottoms. So definitely keep a lookout for that video in the future. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started now because it's already super late and I need to get this stuff done. I still need to make product photos and list everything so I got my hands full so let's just I'm gonna dive in I'm gonna stop talking because I have a ton of stuff that I got to do
so I'm just checking in with you. So I got all the bell bottoms done. So I got this pair. So cute. Then I have this rainbow design. I had this little love bug. This cute cheetah print. Here's the ladybug pants that's going to go with that little love bug and then this love bug shirt and then in this EXO um, shirt as well. So I got quite a bit done. So now that I'm all done sewing up the bell bottoms, I'm going to get started on sewing up the scrunchies, but I'm going to get this design going and then I'm going to get another design started on the buy. I don't know what design I'm doing yet. so. I need to figure that out, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this one going since I already have the design uploaded. Um, and then I'll check back in with you guys. guys I just finished up my last shirt I am gonna show you guys all the shirts that I made but I want to heat press them and uh, fold them all nicely before I show you guys so it is super late so I'm gonna do all that in the morning so you'll have to wait and see how these turn out um, I got a bunch of scrunchies done these are just the regular ones but I also wanted to show you guys this so I'm like trying to test out gift boxes because I mentioned in one of I think my last videos I'm going to be going to a market and they want like your booth to be Valentine's Day themed 
So I want to offer a bunch of like different gift sets for scrunchies. Um, this one is going to be like my Valentine's one. So this box, super big. I should have measured it before I purchased them. I think it came with like 20. But this is an 8 by 8 by 4 um, I can do like a big gift set of like the chunky scrunchies in here. I think it looks fine. I think it looks great. Um, but I don't know how much I'm going to charge for this box. I'm thinking because I do three for 25 typically for the chunky scrunchies, I'm thinking I'll just do $50 for this gift box. Um, because there's six of them. So basically I wouldn't charge them for the gift box, I guess. Um, I'm still working it out. Once I get the smaller boxes, I can kind of see like how many scrunchies can fit in it and what type of deal I can do. Um, but I really love how this turned out. I bought this cute tissue paper off Amazon as well. It came with this one, that one, and then this one. So I'm thinking I would do one more piece of tissue on top of it but I would have it laid out open like this on the table and then if someone wanted it um, I would add an extra thing of tissue on top or I could just leave it like that and then I want to add my um, logo possibly I could do like a QR code or whatever it's called up here of like all my social medias and my Etsy um, and then I could do like my logo on a sticker right here. I could use my Cricut Maker to do that. And then, I don't know, maybe I should try and find some cute like Valentine's Day washi tape to kind of help keep the box closed. But I don't think this would ship very well just because the box is flimsy. So I would have to put it in another box basically. So so it comes with five, satin, uh, five cotton scrunchies and one satin. I'm thinking I could switch out one of the cotton, one of the cotton prints for like this red one, uh, this red velvet. Still need to pick up um, a red and like a darker version of this pink satin. I'm thinking tomorrow I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby um, and try and pick up a yard of red satin fabric and like a darker pink. Um, so maybe I can like mix it up um, and just do like a bunch of different boxes. I don't know. <laughs> But I'm excited to test these out and see how these do. But I'm gonna go to bed. I don't want to tell you guys what time it is because you're, we would think I'm crazy for staying up this late or this early, I guess. But um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Um, I'm definitely not gonna be able to get my stuff launched by the morning time, um, just because I did so much. But I have so much Valentine's Day stuff, and the nice thing about it is if. Some of this stuff doesn't sell, I can have it for next year. And some of these outfits too are, could be worn year round as well. So um, that's nice about some of the outfits or some of the shirts that I made. They can be worn throughout the whole year, but they are kind of Valentine's Day themed. Um, but I will see you guys in the morning and I'll show you all the shirts that I made. And then I'll show you like all the outfits and... Um, what not, but um, I'll see you guys in the morning.
right, so I have everything finally listed onto my Etsy. Um, I've been having a lot of likes, but no purchases yet. So hopefully in the next few days, I'll at least get one of my items purchased is my goal. Uh, but everything looks really good. I'm hoping that this gift box set does well. I plan on adding more um, in like a smaller version as well. Um, and then I have a pickup order for some red satin fabric. Um, and then I'm also gonna be adding some dog bandanas too to match with all these Frenchies. So I need to go do my fabric pickup order from Joann's. But hopefully I can get some sales on some of these cute outfits. Okay guys, well that's gonna be it for this video. Don't mind my face. I've been working like crazy this last like two, three days to get this launch going. Um, but I'm happy that I have everything listed for the most part. I have some new fabric that just came in the mail today, so I'm gonna work on getting those listed. And my dog bandana is listed as well. But besides that, I am all done with everything and hopefully the sales start to come in. Hopefully, my, hopefully I do well with this launch. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channels and definitely hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.